would you tell us your names, please? Ruth Ann Sturgeon. And what was your maiden name? Byer. And and you're. I'm Rodney Sturgeon. And you all have lived in Texas County now. Well, you've lived you lived in Hooks for how long now? I moved to my folks moved to Hooks when I was four years old. Lived away for a while. I got married at 18 in the old church. I was the third last one to get married there. Did you move after you, you lived in Texas? We County? went to Abilene, Texas. About 13 we, years, and then we moved to Dallas. Yeah. We stayed, after I got out of the service, we stayed and finished our college in there. And I went to work with Santa Fe Railroad in there while I was there. Then we moved to Garland, Texas. And then what did you do in Garland? <laughs> and everything. Um, well, you went back to college. She went to uh, the uh, University, Texas, of University of Texas. In Dallas. There in Dallas. Moved to Dallas with ICX Motor Freight Line. What did you do, Ruthann? I uh, went to school and then I played for uh, churches. Herman Brinker, he owned Steak and Ale. He started Steak and Ale. And uh, she worked with them for about 22 years. What are your first memories of the uh, Lutheran Church? Oh dear. <laughs> what would be a, a first memory? Well, in mind. the old in the old church, uh, I was four years old when we came here. When it was, we had a little room in the back that was where we had our confirmation class with Pastor Elber, and then they added on uh, fellowship hall yeah, in the, the back. Yeah, in the back, they added that on. They bought for uh, the property from a uh, modern cleaners. I believe model, so. model cleaners. Yeah. Yeah back then and uh, <clears throat> then I got married like I said in 62 I was the third last one to get married in the church and then Sue was well, Sue Aaron back then now Rayburn my dad did all the back then he did the cleaning he was janitor yeah cleaner. he was custodian for years and years tell me about uh, where you lived in Hooks and who lived behind you uh, the Borchardines. The old Borchardines were, that's actually where First Lutheran started. I don't remember that piece too much of the church being there at all. But they're the ones that started. Well, Lloyd, uh, Lloyd Borchardine and his family. That, that was his mother and his, his, his mother his, and dad that right. started it in, in Hooks, Texas. And they lived near you. Yeah, they lived on the street behind. Were your folks Lutherans yes. to start with? Yes. We were out of, from Fredericksburg, Texas, down in the hill country. Uh -huh. They came. And uh, that the American Lutheran Church basically was in Fredericksburg, yeah. the division. And then, of course, down here is Missouri. And your, your mom was a nurse? Yeah. What did your dad do? He was a fireman out at Red River Arsenal. Y'all have children? Right. How many You have three children. Three. What are their names and what do they do? Pam, David, and Emily. We have three kids. Did you play the organ in the old church? I wasn't regular, but I came in a lot of times and played, yes. So did you play, in it, like when you moved around all these different places, did you play the organ? Oh, yes. I got out of the service. We joined Grace Lutheran Church there in Abilene. Yeah. And she played the organ at Grace for a long time. Thirteen. And then we, which side did that, our Savior? We went, we went to Shane Zion. Erdogan. We know Zion Lutheran in, in Abilene. Abilene. We moved to Garland. We got and then we joined Bethel Lutheran Church in Garland and stayed there a number of years. And then our kids started going to school at, uh, we joined our Redeemer Lutheran in Dallas. And, and, uh, did you play the organ at all those places? Yeah. What do you um, think we need to do for the future in our church? Mm. Is there any, anything that you would like to see changed or added? I like the more formal, yeah. this is personal. I like a more formal service. Um, I'm not as, I just like the form. Not as liberal or loose, yeah. Uh, I, I really how do, you th do you, how do you feel our church has changed over the years? 
because you were gone for a while and then you're back. Um, well, they've they've added the from the traditional service. They've added the where the bands play yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. We're not real help on that, but everybody <laughs> to their own, you know. Do you have any stories about Lloyd Borchardine since he lived behind you? You remember anything? Oh gosh, that's well, so long ago. He was your boyfriend. He was in the army. He, was, he was dressed up in his uniform, you I know. Was a kid back most then. women, most women love uh, military guys dressed up in their uniform and. Boy, Lloyd was her boyfriend. So what age were you when you were talking about that? Well, I moved here. I was four. Oh, about, about, so she I about knew 12. Yeah, about I was, so she had a crush on him when she was Oh, yeah, had a crush 13. on Lloyd. Yeah. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he was in his uniform and all that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was a, good he was a nice looking guy, too, you know. But the Borshadines lived behind, you know, and that's where it started. First Lutheran with the Borshadines and Hooks. Yes. And I don't remember the Hooks church actual there. I, I remember just the one on 4th and Hazel. Yeah, you were you were only four. Yeah, right. you were only four. Yeah, because she was born in 1944 and they moved to uh, Texas County in 1947 or almost 48. So she was four years old when they moved here. Yeah. And they been they joined the Lutheran church, Mr. and Ms. Byer joined First Lutheran when they first got here. So they've been in the church all these years. You know, do you have any stories about them working at the Four States Fair or anything about that? Oh yeah, I enjoyed that. You out worked here, there too? Out of, it was out here at Spring Lake oh, Park. Oh yeah, that's right. It's Spring Lake Park. Where there. the interstate goes through now. Where That's where the fair was. Yeah. Thank you all very, very much. We appreciate you uh, letting us interview you. We enjoyed it.